Namaste guys. So today we'll be learning uh, how to ask questions in French language. It is for beginners level. Mm, so let's start. So what do you need? Uh, you need to learn être and avoir verb. Two verbs are very important. Then you need to have very basic knowledge of articles. All right. And then vocabulary. These three things and you will be uh, you can ask questions in French language. So let's learn some words. Quand means when. Où, where, como, how, combien, how much, qui, who, pourquoi, why, quoi, what. So now, you know, you can simply put these words in the beginning of a sentence and you can make a question, but there is more to it. Most important for basic level is the knowledge of esque and qu'est-ce. All right. So for example, esque. Esque tu es malade? Now, if you observe carefully, tu es malade. Are you ill? This is a very basic sentence. All right, but when you when you add esk, then are you sick or ill? So this is a trick. All right, now uh, esk tu es malade. Let's decode it. All right, esk is is or are according to the according to the subject. You need to remember it. All right, then tu tu is a subject which means you. Then et verb is there. The conjugation of et verb is according to the subject. All right. Now, what you have to do is ask tu a and then the main thing malad. Malad is a noun. So there is a subject, there is a verb, and then there is a noun. All right. So now the idea is clear. Now, the moment you add, add ask, it becomes a question automatically. It's not a difficult thing. I generally, you know, guys, teachers teach, uh, I know. A lot of teachers who spend like two or three months and then they say, Are you time lagi? Nahi. You don't have to waste your time. Don't waste your time. This is the trick. Okay. Now, another example. Ask il est ton ami. Okay. All right. So, for your convenience, I again decode, uh, not really decode it, but simplify this uh, sentence or question. Ask again is our il is subject at a is your verb and tonami is your friend all right now smartest tricks to a uh, trick to ask a question is to interchange the subject and verb now this is a second part all right for example instead of adding uh esque, kesque, etc you can just simply rotate uh rotate uh Subject and verb. How? Il est ton ami. It's a normal thing. For example, uh, il subject, a verb, and then this thing. Now, or whatever. Whatever can come here. All right. Now, il est ton ami. Now, if you rotate it, just do a simple rotation of these two words or subject and verb. Then it will become et il ton ami. Simple. There is, see, it's not a rocket science. It's just a French language. You can learn very easily. Vous avez vu le film? Now the same thing. Avez-vous vu le film? All right. Now, but this sentence is in passé composé, is in past tense. So, vous avez vu le film? If you want to learn French uh, passé composé, just search. I have uploaded a video over the, uh, on YouTube channel. All right. Uh, vous avez vu le film? Now, how to use this table? This table. This is the table which I shared with you in the very beginning. Simply add these words in front of a sentence. All right. Uh, simplest tricks is to ask. Uh, all right. This is this is something we have already done. Now, ask another example I gave here. Hmm. Now, how can you add these words in front of a sentence? I'm just giving you one example. See, I don't want to be dependent on me or anyone. All right. So this is a uh, This is a normal sentence. 
This is a normal sentence. Let's do it with quand. Quand means when. All right. So, quand tu vas venir. All right. So that's it. That's it from my side. And you can actually try with all these words. All these words. For example, let's add pukwa. Pukwa instead of quand. Quand means when. Pukwa means why. So if we uh, replace quand with pukwa, what will it become? What will it become? Write in the comment section. Thank you guys. God bless you all. Pukwa tu va venir. Why will you come? Thank you. God bless you all.